Steamer Joe here. Finishing up with the exhaust steam feed water heater. Ran about an hour of trials with it a little earlier. So I've got some data to show how well it performs. All I had was a digital kitchen thermometer and right back in here on this vertical section of the outlet from the heater to the boiler I bound the stem of that thermometer on there and wrapped it up with some strips of cloth to kind of insulate it to get an idea of what sort of temperatures were going to come out of the heater. Since the last time you saw it I do have the brass wrapper on the canister holding the uh, ceramic insulation in there. So I fired up the plant, let it uh, run for a while to equalize adjusted the bypass valve which if you watched any of the other videos has now changed position to the new uh, plumbing config and uh, I got it set so that the the bypass was set to hold water at just about the normal level in the boiler and let it run for 35 minutes. Well the temperature varied. You know I, I, I moved the bypass valve slightly a few times during the run and the output temperature based on the kitchen thermometer was between 160 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit which is low compared to the 300 degree water in the boiler when it's at 60 psi but it's a heck of a lot warmer than the 65 degree water I was feeding it before and at 180 degrees uh, one of my non-scientific tests was to see how long I could hold my fingers on this pipe going to the boiler clack. I mean, 180 degrees is pretty hot. Um, I could keep my finger on that pipe for maybe a tenth of a second before it would have burned me. So even though it's not 300 degrees by any means, it's uh, pretty hot water now being pumped into the boiler. And I've run this plant now for two or three hours altogether testing, and I noticed a distinct improvement uh, just in feeding that mildly heated water. So I think this will remain my total feed water heating system. Uh, the plant can't be run at full power in the Diana anyway, and uh, Again, that, that has about, let me hold this scale up there. So, total length inside there is a little over five inches of quarter inch copper pipe. And it transfers an amazing uh, amount of heat to that water, especially since the, the feed pump is only pumping well, I haven't measured it, but a few milliliters a minute, I think, to keep up with the uh, water being evaporated in the boiler. So, I'm moving on to the next phase of the project. Steamer Joe, see you later.